Welcome back. It's time for Monday Morning Quarterback. It's our weekly chat with ABC 36 Sports Director Jeff Pecoro. Jeff, I love our little uh, music intro, but a funeral march would have been more apt this morning. How are you? Yeah, a little dirge would have been uh, more yeah, appropriate, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, well, okay, I guess we'll start with the Bengals as they lost to the Chiefs last night in a heartbreaking fashion with a field goal last second. And again, it, what a great contest, though. It, and and the, the Bengals had a fantastic season. Well, they did, and, and to me, there was a, you know, there's a couple of very questionable officiating calls. Here yeah. And, um, yeah. And then that that last penalty, it was a penalty. I mean, you know, Osai knew it. You just can't hit, especially the quarterback when he's in the white. And he did. And, you know, they were able to make the field goal. But I thought, I thought the Bengals played really well. They did. And, and uh, you know, I, like I said, there's a play here or there that it, 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 game's different. I mean, the the one throw that Burrow made. Uh, the Hobbs, the, 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 the tight end was right there, and he could get his eyes around in time to make the catch. But other than that, I thought it was a, a, a just a really well played game by both teams. Well, the difference in the game for me it was just the offensive line just couldn't give Joe yeah. the protection that he normally gets, which you know he just starts eviscerating defenses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Kansas City made it a point to we are going to pressure Burrow. We're not going to let him beat us, so to speak. But. Um, yeah, that was the difference in the game, especially early. They just couldn't get anything going uh, that first quarter. I think mean, it's three times in the first quarter. Um, they, they were able to calm down a little bit later in the game, but, uh, you know, they fell behind early. And, uh, yeah, it was it was just a really good game, though, I'll tell you. you know, the NFL's got this fantastic product, so when – and that's there, there's some people just upset by it right there. But uh, when, when the officiating determines the outcome of a game, and a couple of things that happen, even in the other game with that Devontae Howard catch that wasn't a catch, it's like, you, can't the league fix this? You've got video for yeah. a reason. And I've always thought that if you've got it and it can change the game on, on a call – you should be able to go to that and say that wasn't what you called or that right. is, you know, it, it, you've got to use it for the right way uh, because that just leaves things open for the fans to be able to, to complain about it on right. social media and on shows like this. Exactly. All right, let's switch basketball. The Cats lose to the Jayhawks, which Kansas, it, that game, and I think it uh, – I, one of the broadcasters may have pointed out it felt a lot like when Kentucky had that do or die game against Tennessee, and it felt like that for Kansas. You just sort of got steamrolled by a team that had to win this game. At least they thought they did. Well, I think it is great crowd. Uh, I thought the, the atmosphere was unbelievable. It was what it was like, you know, when uh, in the heyday. Um, it, it, I'll tell you what, though, Kansas made two shots down the stretch as time ran out on the shot clock. Yeah. That were just daggers. If Kentucky can, you know, if they miss either one of those, and I think both were three, um, it changes the whole game. But I thought they played well. Uh, they really did. They just couldn't get the shot to fall there at the end to um, and and, the, uh, and get the stop on Kansas that would have changed the game. They battled back. They got it to two, and like I said, they just couldn't get over that hump. But I, I thought it was a, a really well played game by both teams. Yeah, I, I do too. But one of the reasons it's so touched so tough to coach at Kentucky, not just because of the pressure and attention, but because fans aren't stupid. And if you get beat 14 times on a pick and roll, maybe you switch it up. Maybe maybe go to a zone, you do something different. But Calipari just dismisses that, nah, we're all right. Yeah, he's never going to change. No. He's never going to run his own. I mean, he's just not going to do it. But you're right. And that's something that's really hurt them this entire year. They've got to figure out how to defend that because that is what teams are doing to them in every single game they play. It's hurt them in every game. They have to figure out how to defend that play. They haven't done it. Like you said, there's 25,000 coaches in that, <laughs> in that arena every game. They, yeah. know, they think they know how to do it, but yeah, he's got to change something on that defense. Yeah. Well, I know they don't know how to do it, but, you know, it's pretty much a consensus. <laughs> that ain't working. All right. Hey, Jeff, thanks for the conversation. We appreciate it, buddy. Bye, bud. Have a good one.